So it's right around 6, 6.30 on a Saturday night. And I say, this is the busiest we've seen Disney Springs yet since we've been back. Absolutely. There was a line to get in. Yeah. They're doing some sort of new metal detector and bag check as you enter the Lime Garage. And I heard it's just a test. The metal detector, they didn't have us take any out of our pockets. So I had my camera, my phone, and everything, and I didn't set I it off. backpack on my bag. And they were pulling people out of line to do a bag check. They didn't pull us, and we had our backpack with us. We're not sure what exactly they're testing <laughs> or what they're looking for, but it was odd, to say the least. Some sort of strange bag check and metal detector we had to go through. And all the stores seem to be hopping. There's a lot of people going in and out. Welcome center is over there. No line yet at the welcome center. So. No. <laughs> well, there's not much to welcome you to yet. DVC Resorts opening back up. That'll be the 22nd of June. And we have a reservation for the 22nd yes. of June at um, Old, Old Key West. We'll be at Old Key West that so night. We'll let you know the latest and the greatest. Yeah, we'll do a video day. from there, yeah. A lot of people down to the World of Coke store and Planet Hollywood. Quite busy. I thought because it was raining tonight that there would be very few people. There was a large line just in the parking garage here. We're in the Lime Garage. We're going to go all the way back. But it's still sprinkling. It is still sprinkling. Head on over to the artist shaving past STK Steakhouse. The old Pleasure Island, Edison, the old Adventurers Club, STK, the old Comedy Warehouse. Here we are at the artist shaving. We're gonna go visit the art of shaving. I have a lot of product and all kinds of travel kits and product, shaving cream, aftershave, pre-shave. And they have some specials we'll go over after we leave and unpack. They're still in phase one. They're not even in phase two. Yes, it was. Your bars are not only in the phase one, but they're in phase two. And they are in phase two. And they are in phase two. You went to Miami too? Okay, so we got home. Yep, we are home from our and we I'm sorry. And we did purchase um, some shaving equipment. Right, some artist shaving. I don't normally shave with a manual razor. I normally use an electric razor. But since we've all been stuck at home, I have neglected to shave a lot. So uh, I've decided to try the manual stuff in the art of shaving. So I need to shave. He needs to shave. Yeah. So we're gonna do that soon. Yes. So let's see what so we got. So let's see what's in the so bag. So I was, I was. It, it, first of all, the Art of Shaving is an excellent store. They're an excellent company. They've been around a long time. They're actually owned by Gillette behind the scenes. And they are the top of the line. They are the high end. If you want high end, yeah. high end shaving equipment, That's this is where it. you go. That's for sure. Right. Um, so when we walked in, I was there. I was their perfect client. I was the guy walking in without a car who needs to use car quickly. You know what yeah. I mean? So <laughs> you, well, you were wanted to go there for a long, a long time. time, right? So and this, so it, it worked out. So they, they did have deals going on. They had a lot of sales. They'll build a lot of kits. So we started at the beginning, and I let them just build me a, a kit of things that you need to shave. So um, let's go through what we got in the bag. Yes. Uh, I'm not going to go through the pricing because it's this day or this week. It could change, and every different sales and stuff. I will tell you one thing that I did though. They have a deal going on where if you spend a hundred dollars, you either get a free razor, a second razor, or you get a backpack. 
The backpack was very nice, but we did not need another backpack. We have so many backpacks, so we did choose the free razor. So um, we'll just see what's in the box here, in the bag here. This was the little tray. That's the caddy that you're gonna put your... Shaving cream, your beard balm, and your... Uh, oil. 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 Okay. Right. So this is the free razor that we chose, uh, Artist Shaving Razor. It's a basic razor, but it is very nice. It's still Artist Shaving. I think this is a $90 value, what I saw. This is this razor itself. Yeah, because you can buy them yep. off the shelf. Right, for $90. So this is the free razor that they give you, if you choose that. And it is a five blade razor, as you can see. And it's very nice, the Artist Shaving Razor, with contour head. So you can use it for travel as a second razor or whatever. So, all right, so that's the free razor that you get for spending $100 which we did do when you see everything we have in this bag. Yes. <laughs> so put that back. We did that. So this, and the backpack was very nice too. We just didn't need another backpack. No. So we'll put this back in the box and put this to the side because this is the, the spare razor, we'll call it. Okay, that's that, that right there. All right, also in here, let's see what we've got. This is the shaving cream, the creme raisia. Uh, and I got it in the lavender scent. They let you smell all the different scents. I can only do a Yankee Candle. They had yeah. about six different scents. But I'm wearing a mask, which was kind of funny. But uh, they got you to take the mask off to smell it, obviously. So this is the lavender scent. This is the actual shaving cream that comes with it. And it's all used with a brush, obviously, which we also got. Well, I'm not going to take the lid off now, but that's the protective lid that's on top <laughs> of it. So It should just come right off. Oh, it does. Yeah. It's there just it a... There, there you go. And uh, you take your brush. Oh, you can smell that. Yep, you take just a dab on the tip of your finger. Yeah, just a dime brush. size. Um, yeah. And you put it on the brush. And that's enough to do your entire face to shave right. with. And you put you water on it, up. and it so lathers all up on yeah. your face. So. Oh, and it smells really good. Yeah, yeah it's lavender. Yeah, I did. He had other scents too. I like the uh, citrus he had too. Citrus but, was another one yeah. I really liked. This is the lavender, and I did sign up. For, they have a service they try to sell you on. I did sign up for the service every six months. They resend you the. Uh, these things but uh, and you can always change it on the website so that's that this is the aftershave balm so all these they can go in here they sit in there right I'm trying here folks there we go so this is the aftershave balm Right there, and it's a glass jar aftershave bomb. So, and this again is, is the lavender. That's a pump. And it's a little pump. Yeah. So that would go in there as well. And a little caddy. Just box this to the side. All right, and this is the pre-shave oil for getting the beard ready for the shave. They went through, first of all, they're very, very nice. Like I said, I'm not a manual, I know how to do it, of course, with the, the cheap uh, Colgate gel and everything, but they show you everything, the whole process to go through. And they, they'll tell you, and they also give shaves there too. You can actually go in and hire them to do a shave on you with a straight razor and stuff. So this is the pre-shave oil. And this, again, that's in the lavender. So that would go there. That's rather nice. All right, let's see what else we got here. They also, they are from Gillette. I did buy two packs of these, uh, eight cartridges of the five blade razors. All right, now what do we got here? This is the shaving stand. And this is what the brush and the razor would go on. So this is decorative and that would sit there and you have your razor here and your shaved brush there. And the last two boxes, one will be the razor and one will be the brush. So they sell many different brushes from uh, a least inexpensive to a very, very expensive one. Um, and I got the middle of the, the line one. Uh, and this is uh, Badger. Badger. Real Badger fur. Yeah. So it's the middle of the line brush. Um, but they have more than a twice the cost of that one. And they have some less expensive ones. And this is the actual razor that I bought, the Lexington. This is a manual razor, um, swivel pivot head on it, five blade razor. And they also have this version in electric. Uh, which heats the razor. So you plug it in and it warms the razor. And so you it have a... vibrates slightly, he said. Yes, yeah, I micro thought that would be kind of dangerous on your face, like yeah. cutting all over the place. But not he so... said, no, 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 it doesn't vibrate right. not like, like to that. cut you. So but, so, but that's the razor. So, uh, yep, the art of shaving. So we're looking forward to so trying it So that was out. the whole kit. Yeah, made, actually, art of shaving made by Gillette. It's up on top there, which I hadn't seen before. So, 
you know, you probably don't need this, and a lot of you will laugh because it's probably just an, an expense. It's not necessary, but it's something I always wanted to wanted to do. So there we go. So now we've got it right. all set. That was our adventure at the Disney Springs Art of Shaving Art at of Disney shaving. Springs. So, all right, with that, so, we'll try it out. We'll see what goes. In another video, we will um, let you know how it worked. Let you know how it all worked out. If you like what we do, give us a thumbs up. Please subscribe. We're trying to hit that thousand subscribers, and we are so close. Please, uh, if you haven't subbed to our channel yet, and amazingly, 80% of our views come from people who are not subscribers. So if you can just have a few guys to help us out, we'd appreciate it. Just sub to the channel. So, all right, share us on social media. All right. And we'll see you soon. And of course, Holly's here taking a bath. Holly's here. I'm always here. Because we're here, she's here. Yeah. All right, folks. Take care, and we'll see you soon.